Astronomers just discovered a very old and massive galaxy that formed in the early universe, and they named it JWST 7329. This galaxy is like a cosmic ancestor of ours, but it looks very different from what we expected. It has about four times more mass and stars than our Milky Way, but it formed around 13 billion years ago, when the universe was only about 700 million years old. This challenges the current models of galaxy formation, which predict that such massive galaxies should not exist so early in cosmic history. How did this galaxy form and evolve? What does it tell us about the nature and role of dark matter in the formation and evolution of galaxies? And what does it mean for our understanding of the early universe and its mysteries? These are some of the questions that we will try to answer in this video, using the latest data and analysis from the James Webb Space Telescope, the revolutionary instrument that observed this galaxy for the first time. If you are curious and excited about this discovery and want to learn more about it, then stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. JWST 7329 is a rare and remarkable galaxy that formed very early in the universe. It has some unique characteristics that make it stand out from other galaxies in the same epoch and in the present day. First of all, it is very massive. It has a stellar mass of about 4 times 10 to the power of 11 solar masses, which means it has about 4 times more mass and stars than our Milky Way. This is surprising, because most galaxies in the early universe were much smaller and less massive. They had not enough time and material to grow and accumulate stars. In fact, this is one of the most massive galaxies ever observed in the first billion years of the universe. Second, this newly discovered galaxy is very old. It formed its stars very quickly and efficiently when the universe was only about 700 million years old. This is remarkable because the universe at that time was very young and chaotic. It was filled with hydrogen gas that was not yet ionized by the first stars and galaxies. This gas was opaque to ultraviolet light, which is essential for star formation. So, how did this galaxy manage to overcome this obstacle and form its stars so early and rapidly? Third, it is very red. It has a very low optical brightness, which means it emits very little visible light. This is because most of its stars are very old and cool and have a reddish color. This also implies that this galaxy has stopped forming new stars a long time ago and has become a quiescent or passive galaxy. This is unusual because most galaxies in the early universe were very blue and bright, which means they were still actively forming new stars. But why? Why did this galaxy stop making stars so soon and what caused it to become quiescent? These are some of the questions that astronomers have been trying to answer by studying the nature and origin of this galaxy. They use the infrared spectroscopy of the James Webb, which is a technique that measures the wavelengths and intensities of the light emitted by the galaxy. This allows them to determine the age, composition, temperature, and motion of the stars and gas in the galaxy. By comparing the spectra of the galaxy with those of other galaxies, they can also infer how it formed and evolved and what factors influenced its growth and quenching. JWST 7329 is not only a fascinating galaxy, but also a very important one. It sheds new light on the nature and role of dark matter in the formation and evolution of galaxies. It also poses a problem for the current theoretical models and simulations of galaxy formation which fail to explain how such a massive galaxy could exist so early in cosmic history. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe, but does not interact with light or ordinary matter. We can only detect its presence by its gravitational effects on the visible matter. It is essential for the formation and evolution of galaxies, because it provides the gravitational scaffolding that attracts and holds the ordinary matter together. Without dark matter, galaxies would not be able to form and grow. But this is a very massive galaxy, which means it must have a lot of dark matter in it. So how did it acquire so much dark matter in such a short time? One possibility is that JWST 7329 
was formed by the merger of several smaller galaxies, which brought their dark matter along with them. Another possibility is that this galaxy was located in a very dense region of the universe, where dark matter was more abundant and concentrated. Either way, it suggests that dark matter played a crucial role in shaping the early universe and its structures. However, it also challenges the current theoretical models and simulations of galaxy formation, which are based on our understanding of dark matter and its properties. These models predict that massive galaxies should not exist so early in cosmic history because they require a lot of time and material to grow and accumulate stars. They also predict that massive galaxies should not be quiescent or passive because they should still have enough gas and star formation activity to keep them blue and bright. The galaxy contradicts these predictions and shows that there are some unknown processes and mechanisms that govern the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. These processes and mechanisms could be related to the nature and behavior of dark matter or to the feedback and regulation of star formation by supernovae and black holes, or to the effects of the cosmic environment and the rayonization of the universe. These are some of the open questions and future directions of research that this galaxy inspires and that astronomers hope to answer with more observations and analysis. This galaxy is one of the first and most remarkable discoveries made by the web the most powerful and sophisticated telescope ever built. It demonstrates the power and capabilities of the JWST as a revolutionary instrument for exploring the early universe and its mysteries. It also shows the exciting and promising prospects of Webb for making more discoveries and breakthroughs in the fields of astronomy and cosmology. It is a game changer for the study of the early universe and its mysteries. It can reveal the secrets of the cosmic dawn, when the first stars and galaxies lit up the dark ages of the universe. It can also reveal the secrets of the cosmic evolution, how the stars and galaxies changed and interacted over time. It can also reveal the secrets of the cosmic diversity, how the stars and galaxies vary in their properties and behaviors. It can also reveal the secrets of the cosmic origins, how the stars and galaxies are connected to our own solar system and life on Earth. These are some of the goals and objectives of the James Webb and some of the questions that it hopes to answer. JWST 7329 is a prime example of how Webb can achieve these goals and objectives and how it can answer these questions. We hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new and interesting about JWST 7329 and the early universe. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this galaxy and the early universe. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.